Um, the first thing that I wanted to jump to was the uh, Clippers and Lakers game. Hey, hey, hey. And I mean, it was a really good game. Like, you know, the Lakers came to play, Clippers came to play, and I mean, the Lakers were like basically just stomping on them in the first half. Of course, I was like, oh, this is looking real good right now. Like, basketball is base is both you know physical and mental in aspects. You know. You know, you can dominate them physically. You can play mind games in them. The Lakers were dominating them, like, physically. Like, of, of course, you know, like, Anthony Davis is, like, a mismatch for everyone. You know, LeBron James, like, you know, Clippers are lacking interior presence. And, and they were just, you know, beating them down. And, you know, once the half started, um... Clippers adjusted and they came back like with like Avengers. Like, dude, the Lakers had like a fifteen point lead, and for them to like squander that is like, it's like, what what are we doing? Like, it's on you know players like LeBron James and Anthony Davis, like, and of course you know Frank Vogel. Like, what the, what the hell is Frank Vogel doing? You know, like the game plan was um. You know, it's kind of working out. But, I mean, I guess LeBron James has, like, a groin injury, so he just couldn't, like, drive it in. He's kept on, like, shooting, like, these weird shots. Like, like it's very un- uncharacteristic of, like, LeBron to, like, do certain, like, things. And for him to, like, jack up, like, a bunch of, like, three-pointers, like, it just shows that he didn't really have enough, like, explosive, like, um... Like, just, like, explosiveness to, like, blow past people like he usually does. And, you know, come playoff time, like, the defense that the Clippers are playing, they're, they're playing really good. And that defense is only going to ratchet up, like, even further when, when the playoff starts. Like, like if LeBron James, like, is not, like, fully 100%, like, it's going to be really rough times on the perimeter. Like... Like, man, I kind of, like, want to read off the stats. Like, I mean, the Lakers are, like, what, 26% from three? I mean, they just kept on jacking threes. Like, there was no offense whatsoever. Like, no one was, like, it just, like, fell apart of what they were doing. Um, I mean, man, they got, like, out-rebound by Pat Beverly. I mean, this team, like, it was all fun and games, you know, in the first half because, you know, they're winning. But, you know push come to shove like like that that smile ended up like real quick to like became like a frown like i mean the clippers are, are for real like this is basically a potential western conference finals opponent and it seemed like they weren't taking them like as serious as you know some of the fans thought it, sh- it should have been like like i don't understand like what kind of offense is like the Lakers running like they don't run like pick and roll with Anthony Davis and they just like just spread the floor as much as possible and like iso 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 and like try to blow pass or like break the opponent down to like get like a you know kind of like a semi-difficult shot I mean when when the when it gets going like the Lakers been beating like people just based off talent it seems like like yeah they're, they've been like kind of putting like a lot of effort when it comes to like offense but i mean they've lost four in a row right now they lost a close game with the raptors um they lost against it was the mavericks i think the mavericks no that was like a while back but they're like on a losing streak right now and and injuries piling up right now like it's it should be telling i mean their next opponent is portland um just rest like LeBron James and let Anthony Davis like you know try to win us the game like obviously like if you lose if LeBron misses a bunch of time like LeBron is the the main core of the offense like you know if you leave Rondo in like like he can play like a poor man's like LeBron once he wins LeBron sits like just get him like fully healthy like groin whatnot um I mean man like Clippers, the Clippers are like, are so crazy good. Like, 
you can just like tell just by looking at them that they're like a championship level team as well. Like they have all the hallmarks of a championship team. They have players that know their role, do their job, and no complaints whatsoever. Kawhi Leonard, you know, the Terminator, do put up 35 points, 12 rebounds, and let's see. I think he put like five assists. Like, like dude, like. Kawhi Leonard's the man. Like he is, he came, he came to play. Like he just does his job, no complaints whatsoever. You know, you know, step back, you know, fade away, post up, everything. Kawhi Leonard's the man. I mean, I mean, the thing is, like the Lakers were playing really well because Kuzma was like on fire. Like Kuzma had like twenty five points. I mean, he was basically like the main aspect of the bench scoring and you don't really see that for the lakers because they've been missing like a third like score it's just been it's just been running through of anthony davis and like lebron james um so you know, kyle kuzma's helping alleviate like the offensive like you know you know wear down when they when they both sit and the thing is like like clippers they were they were only playing like that great they really struggled like christmas too like lou williams was playing pretty bad like it was one for six um paul george paul george was not playing good whatsoever like he was five for 18 he was like was it one for one for six from like he was just shooting a bunch of threes and they weren't going in like oh my dude like what do you what's, what's paul george doing right now I mean, Landry Shaman wasn't playing that well, too. I mean, the list goes on, but, you know, Clippers found a way to, you know, bring back their team and will them. You know, Kawhi Leonard will them back in, and he took over in the fourth quarter. And it, it shows, like, like once these guys, like, ratchet up the defense, like, it gets really, really difficult to, like, play against them. Like, I mean, Clippers are still my pick to go to the finals. I mean, they really do need to like address the interior presence kind of thing where they need like a more of a um you know uh just a post presence player that can like block shots like you know Montrez Harrell's not yeah he has like he has a bunch of energy like a big energy guy but he's not really too big on defense you know Zubak Zubak doesn't play enough minutes because Harrell is just doing way too good right now for for him to sit so that's why Doc Rivers like plays like Montrezl Harrell like those amount of minutes. Um, Montrezl Harrell was crazy too. He's putting up eighteen to six. Um, man, like if they can address that, then like they they will be for sure the team to um to um get out the get out the West. Like yeah, I know like everyone's talking about Andre Iguodala, but I mean, who even knows, like, who's a, like, if Andre Iguodala is going to go to L.A., like, the only, the only thing I see from Iguodala coming to, like, one of the L.A. teams is if he gets bought out. There's no way, like, that the Clippers or the Lakers have, like, stuff to, like, give to the Grizzlies for, for Andre Iguodala. Um, for, like... Let's see, like, what's another takeaway? Like, I mean, this is basically, like, if you think about it, like, this is basically the modern versions of, you know, championship teams of the past. Like, the Clippers are, like, built like the 90s Bulls. And the Lakers are basically, like, the modern-day version of, like, Shaq and Kobe, in my opinion. Like, like, for the Clippers, you got, like, two, you know, dynamic perimeter wings who can who are playing like you know on like a defensive player of the year caliber kind of level then you have patrick beverly who's like also pretty elite in defense as well multiple four bodies can guard um fours and threes you know uh mo harkless who's really good on defense um i wouldn't say patrick patterson's that great on defense but he he's just like another body um, these got like a bunch of like forwards. It's basically the perimeter play. Like, like the wings have been dominating the, the NBA for like a while, a while now. Um, 
for like the Lakers, you know, obviously, you know, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, you know, you know, two one two punch, you know, elite big man with like a wing operating to get get them the ball. Um, surrounded by a bunch of shooters, just like you know, Shaq and Kobe days. Um, and we'll see like which which style prevails. Like, like for right, for right now, at the time being, like. I don't know what the Lakers are going to do to address their situation. But, I mean, I'm taking the, the, the modern-day indi- like incarnation of the 90s Bulls. Like, that team has proven that that play style can still, you know, win championships this, like, this era. Like, the Toronto Raptors are kind of like the same thing as well, with, like, built like the modern-day version of the Bulls as well. Of Kawhi Leonard acting as the like representation of Michael Jordan, you know Pascal Siakam was like the represent- representation of Scottie Pippen, Kyle Lowry for for all the shit that he gets given. Like for me, like person, I think well, Kyle Lowry's kind of overrated, but he's also at the same time like pretty good as well. I mean, he's an All Star player. Um, he's like the representation of like Ron Harper, and then they got like a bunch of bigs like. The Toronto team will be kind of underrated, like in the future, because like people are like giving them like giving them like shit because they beat like a injured Warriors team. But hey, you know you play, you play who's who's in front of you. Injury is part of the game. Like it is what it is. Like Kawhi Leonard is still a champion. Like the, those Raptors, that Raptors team was a great talented team. They are champions. Um, like I don't know what the Lakers are gonna do to like address their situations. Like yeah, they need like. They need like more shooting because like they're super inconsistent when it comes to shooting. Um like Danny Green, you know, you know, Shaq calls him icy hot because he's icy hot for a reason. Like some days he's hot, some days he's super cold. Like he was really cold. Um like in Christmas. He was he was two for seven for three. Like there was like a there was like a play where he shot like an open three. They got the offensive rebound. Passed it back to him. He bricked it again. I'm like, oh, Danny Green comes in the clutch. Like, but it's to be expected. Like, Danny Green's always been a inconsistent, like pretty streaky shooter. Like, like there are times where he's shooting fifty percent from three, and there are times he's shooting like twenty percent. Like, you know, it is what it is. Like, I just going back to like the finals and like the Raptors. Like, he only had one good game, like one good shooting game, and I was like, that was game three. I think that was game three like yeah when he shot like six for eight or something from three and i was like it was pretty crazy um i mean you know caldwell pope like dude like he's super inconsistent as well like like come on man like 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 casey poop is like just bad in my opinion but you know like who would even take him like if we tried to trade him i mean you just need like more consistent like sh- shooting. Um, I mean Rondo, like Rondo, Rondo and LeBron in the same lineup does not work like whatsoever. Like I know LeBron James always tries to like make it seem like he needs more playmakers, but that's not the case because LeBron James wants to be the only prime primary playmaker. Like when Le- Rondo is on the floor, like he just. LeBron doesn't play off ball whatsoever, so there's no point in having two ball handler ball handling playmakers. Like, what's the point? He just makes Rondo into like a shooter. So he just stands in the corner. He was like one for five um on Christmas. Although like Rondo did improve and kinda improve his shooting. Like I think there was a stat saying that he was like forty percent from three. I was like, mm, I guess, like but you know. Those two don't make sense in the same lineup. Like, LeBron sits, like, Rondo needs to come in and replace LeBron's playmaking duties. Um, honestly, like, I don't even know what kind of offense these guys are running. Like, they don't want to pick and roll whatsoever. I've not seen Dwight Howard, like, do too much pick and rolls. Like, I mean, no, Dwight Howard was, is pretty good in the pick and roll. Anthony Davis, um, I don't understand. Like, the Lakers are just beating like a lot of people based off of just their personnel and talent. But I mean, 
I gotta see more. I mean, I got I I gotta see like way more consistency. Like Kakuzma, he's been up and down, like really up and down. Like he's been playing pretty bad until like this game where he came on fire at, at the right time, and the Lakers squandered it. They should have. Dude, they had a 15 point lead. They should have been able to to uh, to hold it down. Like you know, championship championship level teams. You know, find a way to like hold on hold on leads and uh it'll be interesting to see like later on like the more difficulty in the schedule for the lakers like how would they respond and we'll see what happens if they can get Iguodala, they need someone to like body up uh, against Kawhi because everyone that was trying to guard Kawhi, like like they were getting like cooked like in the post. Fun guy, what's up, baby? What it do, baby? Like they're getting cooked. Like Danny Green's too small for him. You know, Casey Poop. You forget about it. That's easy two points right there. Like LeBron James is not even checking like Kawhi Leonard. Like Kawhi Leonard is like super elite in the post, man. All those videos of like watching Mike and Kobe is paying off right now. If I'm like LeBron James, like he's the only body like to have the um the framework to guard Kawhi because Kawhi's pretty jacked. Like he doesn't really seem like it sometimes, but he like if you like look closely he's like Kawhi, he's he's freaking Jack City. But I mean we we I think we all know like why LeBron won't won't check him. It's because LeBron James he doesn't want to waste too much energy on defense. He wants to like preserve all his all his energy for offense and it's really been that it's been the case for the past couple of seasons i mean yeah he's kind of trying right now but i mean anthony davis is just so elite in, in defense like he's he's leading he who he, he probably will end up defensive player of the year and I'm, I'm and that's just not me being like a laker fan just saying that i mean dude like this is just how good anthony davis is and I mean, hopefully this dude signs. Like, if if Anthony Davis doesn't sign, like it's over basically. Like, don't even don't even think about like LeBron James like ten years championship player is done. Like, like what else is there for LeBron anymore? If Anthony Davis leaves, but I mean, other than that, it's a it was a great game. Like, like dude. You know, Kawhi Leonard, you know, that Terminator light came up on board fourth quarter. I don't know what LeBron was doing in that last position when he when Patrick Beverly blocked it on him. Like I don't know what was going on, but man, like Frank Vogel needs to get better. LeBron needs to think like, dude, like this dude's like half my size. Like post up, dude. But LeBron James doesn't post up, so I mean it is what it is. But hopefully, like. We'll see what happens, like, come trade market season, because it's going to be really interesting. I mean, the first trade domino go down is Jordan Clarkson, and, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens.